Hi guys, welcome to another episode of World of Truck. This is the European version, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now I'm still playing the one truck family event, completed my first objective, and I'm going to uh, get my second objective done, and I'm hoping to, uh, to show you guys the reward in the next video when I potentially truck from uh, Prague to St. Petersburg, and that is going to be a rather long journey. Uh, which I am very much excited to embark on. I mean, the journey is going to be like, uh, I, I think maybe two, one and a half hours to two hours drive uh, in real time. So uh, it will be a Prague to, to uh, St. Petersburg, which I'm looking forward to do. So, uh, you know, I invite you to watch that video to see uh, how I, uh, you, know, you know, deal with that kind of uh, marathon trucking shall i say so uh looking forward to that and uh i'm hoping that in my next video for this uh, one truck family event i'll be able to show you the complete kind of like um suite of reward uh so there's all the cosmetic reward that you get when you complete the event so right now i have a hat here you can see this little blue hat uh the uh just you know the reward that you earn by completing the first objective Okay, now some uh, I'm right now. Right now I'm at uh, Amsterdam. Um, I'm going to truck to Brussels. Now, why? Because it's probably one of the shortest distance uh, for this destination. Uh, just to recap, uh, to to play this event is a little bit different from the rest before. Uh, there are altogether ten cargoes. I think 10, 10 trips that you have to make uh, with uh, from different different location and then after that you would have to uh, have uh, to deliver goods to five different destinations um, and each th every three days they rotate the destination so why do they do that well it is to simulate the um, you know like uh, there, there are a lot of trucking racing event for the trucks and each uh, each each event will have a different location and you're helping the uh, the teams to transport the equipment, the racing truck into the location for racing. So that is basically the uh, the idea of it. All right. So now I'm just going to get it into this guy here. All right. Uh, it's be twelve ton, I guess. Ten ton, even load lighter. So uh, I'll show you the view of how it looks like in just a bit when I get through the traffic here. And Mr. Dam. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm so used to Volvo or Renault, which has one of the most powerful engine in this game or simulator. Um, so some of these like gear I could get away with fourth gear, but uh, not not for this truck. Uh, it's a man truck. It's a uh, it's uh, one of the latest model. Uh, the game has. But I found that uh, the power is just not as, uh, as, as, as good as the, uh, the other one. Maybe for different purposes. Sometimes you don't have to have such a powerful truck. So by the way, this is the, um, this is the, uh, the truck itself. It looks pretty amazing uh, from the back itself. So, oops, uh, my turn to go out. Now the uh, the event will reward you with uh, a little truck model, a model truck uh, that you can put it onto your dashboard. Um, so there are three of them altogether, three different model. Um, there's one, I mean, there's one with a rather unusual shape. I think if you if you if you truck from say a Prague, then you know what I mean. It, it is that kind of like unusual kind of like a look of it. Um, the truck looks a little bit like an American model um, with a long nose or bonnet, shall I say. Um, so, another one is the, uh, the white one here, and the third one is a Mercedes. So, I, I do have a preference. Um, I think the, uh, I would like to have the. Hang on a second. Let me just brussel is this two lane, but sometimes, sometimes it does have to uh, take the right correct lane before you can get to brussel. 
So I, I have my preference. Um, I would like to probably the unusual shape one with the long kind of bonnet, um, the uh, more like American truck kind of like, uh, it looks very different in the game. With a, with a nose there, <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. I think that would be my first preference. Uh, the second one would be the um, the Mercedes. I mean, nowadays I because I follow Formula One and uh, I, I have a natural uh, affinity towards the Mercedes brand because uh, you know Lewis Hamilton is uh, racing with the Mercedes uh, brands. Uh, the racing car itself and uh, it's amazing. I mean, they have been doing a, such a good job seasons of the season so uh not only that i mean that that you know i follow the youtube channel of uh, amg um uh, mercedes uh, petronas mercedes and uh they they've been very humble they would talk to you about all the uh, behind the scene the uh, you know why they choose certain tires for the weekend why they have a two-stop strategy why two-stop strategy is the is the best strategy for the barring race uh, why Valtteri Bottas' car wasn't that competitive, and uh, what happened between like a whoa, this is like a nose dive into it. Um, so like uh, what happened between the uh, the the Australian race whereby the Mercedes has done a really good job versus the uh, the barring one, which they were uh, like a little bit on the bad foot, but still they managed to win the race. A uh, one two Mercedes. So it's a lot of like good insight into the F one by uh, watching the channel of the Mercedes F1 team. So, yeah, I mean, that is the reason why I find it very uh, interesting. Um, and, and also, long story short, uh, I would be quite happy if I get a Mercedes uh, little truck as a souvenir for the um, for the decoration, the car des the decoration, All right? So now I just need to make sure that I don't hit the car on the left-hand side. There's a black car coming along, and I need to... Oh! I was uh, a little bit like uh, trying to see the uh, the two mirrors and wasn't that paying attention to. Well, you know, I think I think in real life that would have ended up quite badly. Now, of course, my skills is that I have. Uh, <laughs> yes, I always have excuse for everything. Uh, so it's been a long, long day at work. Uh, I, nowadays I play the game called Risk of Rain too. It's been a wonderful rain, but my wonderful game, not wonderful rain. So, but my wife been a little bit quite tired today, and uh, she has been watching the new uh, season of Versailles on Netflix, uh, season three, I think. And uh, so she sort of like didn't want to play the. Uh, She didn't want to play the um, the risk of rain too, so a little bit of shame. Uh, but um, um, you know, I'm just waiting for my friend Mark to come online so that we could play a little bit together. I I try to change lane, man. I don't know why I can't. Well, I mean, you know, there's a truck right beside me, so there's nothing I can do. So uh, I'm just waiting for my friend to uh, come online, and I was thinking that. Well, maybe I do a video on the uh, you know world of truck. Uh, maybe just get my last uh, reward. Now I didn't really plan to make this video because I wanted to make it after I've got the uh, all the rewards, so it make it more interesting. But um, but yeah, I thought uh, you know why not? All right. So now the um, you know it's interestingly some of you have alerted me that you can't find a job. Um, you know in the uh, in the external contract. Uh, when you play this event, I, I think, you know, I have, okay, so when I first played this event, uh, without fail, I was able to uh, find the job. I mean, there's plenty of job that's for this kind of raising kind of like an event. But, um, but lately, I mean, uh, since the last, uh, last, last event or last destination, which is to, uh, to Poland, I, uh, I have difficulty finding the, the job itself. So, you know, uh, and and I my, my I don't really have a lot of advice on this one because I, I think a lot of you ask for advice for this and that. Um, I, you know, I I could like you know just press the refresh button, cycle through the pages, and see um, see whether it turns up or not. 
But uh, what I'll do is that I'll just use a keyboard to search the uh, the event. For example, I know that this particular uh, you know starting location is for EK trucking, so I just type EK and just search for it. So if it doesn't have it, then it doesn't show, and just keep refreshing without having to throw pages after pages trying to find uh, where it would be. Um, so. I don't really have a lot of good advice on that. I don't know why lately. Uh, it took me a while to get this job as well. I think I refreshed about four times uh, to, to get it. So it's a little bit silly because without this job, there's really no other option. Unlike other events whereby you could, um, unlike other events whereby you could, um, you know, take any other job, like, you know, just some uh, longer distance than other. Uh, for this particular event, there's no other option. You have got to, uh, you know, truck for EK trucking, uh, the EK racing before you, EK truck racing, I think it's called, uh, before you can, you know, lock it as a, as a win for the objective. So it's a little bit strange. Um, you know, I, 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 I wanted to write into the Steam forum, but lately I found that the, um, the Steam forum for Euro Truck Simulator Simulator 2 is actually pretty pretty toxic. Um, you know, I'm surprised because I thought this game has a lot of like uh, followers and you know a lot of people trucking and trucking is the most least violence game. I mean, I cannot see anything that is violence in this game, but yet it attract a lot of people who are very uh, aggressive on the forum. So like any suggestion that you give, um, you know, the the veteran would then put it down and think that they are right and so on. It just put me off. Uh, because sometimes I do have some like suggestion like the um, initially the 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 destination was confusing uh Brasti slaver task i mean there's a there's a there's a job to there's a cargo for Brasti slaver but yet there's a destination also Brasti slaver and um wow there's an event there by the way ooh wow okay it's very realistic. Okay, so maybe I just get through this first. Yeah, so I was just saying that uh, you know that, that there was an event whereby uh, there's a destination also Brasley's labor, and uh, because the distance is too short, whose fault is it? Uh, they cannot generate a, uh, a a job for us to to take. Well, then I feedback in the forum saying that well, it's a little bit confusing because you know as you as you play this uh, game, you you are expecting to be able to take all this cargo, um, you know, because the idea is that you want to take it, uh, you know, you want to deliver those cargo, ten of them. One of them is a uh, Brasis Slaver, and uh, and uh, if the destination is Brasis Slaver, I mean, so be it. You could just next door. I don't know. Um, I'm less talking about the uh, whether it's too easy or not too easy. I mean, it's just an event whereby you can pick any location, even from Amsterdam into uh, into into Brussels. You can say that it's too easy because it's a very very short distance um, as well. Uh, but yeah, I tried to feedback in the forum in, in Steam. Man, that was violent. So uh, after that, I learned my lesson: never visit the uh, Euro Truck Simulator to um, you know forum. I think the American Truck Simulator. It's actually better. I don't know why. Is it because of the uh, different culture? Uh, people are more open for discussion or, you know, less... Because, uh, you know, I think the American version is still quite new compared to the European version. So maybe European version has a lot of veterans. They felt that they know it all and, you know, you guys just shut up. You know, the, the game is best as it is. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, so anyway, enough of my feedback about the uh, Steam forum. I just stay out from it. Uh, but I do participate in Steam a lot uh, for other games. Okay, now, whoa, there's another car there. Whoa, guys, man, you have got to give me. Yep, the other car was good. Okay. Now it's at Brussels, and I'm pretty sure I have been here before now you know now that I play a little bit more on the European version um, I used to play a lot on the American version the uh, I'm more aspire to unlock all the garages uh, and I think in time to come I will mm, there's still quite a lot of garages I would like to call that probably I don't need a truck I just need to just drive around Europe different country 
set up my garages and set up my company money is no longer an issue i've got 37 million pound i don't even have any gold sink uh to burn my uh the, the, the amount of money that i have is is is, is insane so uh, not to complain of course i'm just saying that uh, money is not a problem i don't need a truck i don't need to work anymore i could just drive my truck uh, to a different location um you know i just have fun with it right so now it's just a little bit of parking here it's not going to be a very hard parking but sometimes you never know um you know it's always very easy to screw up on all this parking and you're yeah, not getting the thing in, in in kind of like you know in the position that you want uh and and it become rather embarrassing so um let me see all right hmm. It's a, it's a good for a change, I mean, you know, it's not that far, the event. I mean, sometimes we've done a lot of long distance. Sometimes you do a short distance, a bit of variance and, you know, just... Uh you know, actually parking is pretty hard as a truck, you know. I don't know how people can do it without our, you know, I mean, it's it's actually, actually rather hard to see uh, the whole trucking thingy. So, you know, a lot of respect for the truckers uh, on being able to. Um, I don't think this will count. So uh, I'll just try my luck here. I probably need to go for two rounds. I hope nothing more than that. So I don't know how the truck, the real life trucker is going to truck like uh, being able to, you know, put put things into it without having this view. I mean, imagine if I I can't I can't see it from from that angle, like this angle. I mean, I don't know how to how 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 to how, how to do it in real life. A lot of respect to the trucker itself, himself. I mean, you know, wow, you guys are fantastic. Now I think this time around is fine. Uh, just now I was just too uh, optimistic. All right. Okay, so the uh, the score is going to be out, and it's called excellent. Uh, Two hundred and twelve kilometer, very short distance, nineteen minutes drive, very nice. Uh, World of truck contract completed, one hundred and four. On my way to level thirty six. Uh, yeah. So thank you so very much for watching. And with that said, I am done with my event, both the objectives. So uh, I want to collect my reward. In my next video, what I'll do is I'll show you. All the goodies uh, you can collect from this uh, this event, and uh, you know, I said I may truck it all the way from Prague to uh, Saint Petersburg and doing one video for you guys. So, be warned, it'll be very very uh, long video. All right, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.